Hello and welcome uh, to the Dr. Mumbi Show. My name is Dr. Mumbi Saraki. How are you doing? How's everything going? I really do pray that you are well, fam, in all your ways and that you are living your best life. There's been so much going on and I keep telling you, we have to look at the patterns, maybe not every single story, but we have to look at the emerging patterns of what they're trying to implement and what they're trying to, you know, to say and do in this epic pandemic. Now, a very interesting story coming out of Italy where an Italian member of parliament has actually called for the arrest of Bill Gates. The highest profile um, accusation that um, has been, you know, lodged against Bill Gates. When the media reported on this story, they were trying to say, you know, the conspiracy blame game uh, continues. And they said that she took the whole conspiracy blame game to another level. Uh, and, you know, she's called, uh, she's actually the member of parliament for Roma. Roma's not a small city, man. I think Roma's one of the biggest. Anyway, uh, Sarah Kunial. And uh, she spoke in parliament. She was booed. But the president of the parliament or the head of the parliament or whatever said that she had her right to speak but across the parliaments of the, most of the parliaments of the world because it's a copy paste system uh, you know an MP can say anything so she spoke in parliament extensively I'll even share the video shortly she accused Gates of being a vaccine criminal and a globalist tool uh, saying that you know she called on fellow lawmakers to defy any plans uh, for compulsory vaccines against the, cor the coronavirus and she claimed such endeavors were being pushed by the deep state and uh, Bill Gates was one of the main culprits of the vaccine drive, if not the pandemic itself. These are her words uh, where she said, you know, for decades, Gates has been working on depopulation policy and dictatorial uh, control plans on global politics, aiming to obtain the primacy on agriculture, technology and energy. And that's true. He's got the technology with Microsoft. He's been investing heavily in agriculture across Africa. Africa. In fact, there's someone who got in touch with me from Ghana and he said somewhere in 2008 or I don't, yeah, I think it was in 2008, they were convinced to, to remove the the traditional cassavas and actually plant some, you know, some, some Bill Gates cassavas. And now what's happening is while those ones would give a steady yield for like seven years, you know, these ones have a shorter lifespan. And in fact, um, even though they produce every six months, if you don't sell the produce, the produce rots faster. But people cannot play God and think they can create something better than nature. Nature is superior, fam, for real. Um, and anyway, he's a very well-known uh, anti-vax, you know, anti-vaccination activist. Um, and it was just shocking, you know, to even her uh, fellow members of parliament, uh, where she boldly accused Gates of sterilizing millions of African children. I'm telling you, that story has gone so viral. And that just didn't happen anywhere in Africa. It happened here in Kenya. Uh, I've been told that... A similar tetanus jab was given to young women in Nigeria, but you guys can confirm. I keep telling you there's gateway nations that they're always trying to see. If it works there, then they know it will work in the rest of the region. And then, um, you know, she continued on to say, you know, it's our children who will lose more, uh, who are raped souls. I mean, very dramatic. In this way, the right to school will be granted only with a bracelet uh, to get them used to probation, to get them used to slavery and involuntary treatment. Uh, the real goal of all of this is total control, absolute domination of human beings transformed into guinea pigs and slaves, violating sovereignty and free will. You know, and a lot of you people in Europe are speaking out against this, the illegal vax agenda. Go ahead and listen to her video.
Thank you.